G'day mates, Home Slice here, and welcome back to the council. We're up to part 13 now, and in the last one we attended Mortimer's conference thing, and uh, he said what his plan was with uh, Louisiana, but right now we've got to search for uh, Manuel Godoy, and I'm struggling to uh, find him here, so I'm really keen to see where he is, where he's finally going to show up. Um, I want to include the entire search just in case, you know, something pops up on the way. This is Washington's room. See if he's in here. I'm going to have to search everywhere, I assume. I doubt there's anything new in here. Maybe we can... No, can't go out on the balcony. Uh, and Washington's not here either. My dear John. Already read that one. What about this thing? What's this? I don't think I looked at this. Locked. Uh, pick the lock. Or force open. Hmm. Small key. Maybe I should have a quick look. At his desk, maybe. No, nothing here either. What about in his bedroom? Anything? If I don't find it, then I will just, uh... Yep, we're gonna have to... Wait, what about that? No? Okay. Alright. Louis takes ages to turn around, but... Uh, yes, let's... Wait, where what This thing here. Okay. Gonna have to... Use a Carmelite water, I reckon. Locked. Uh, pick lock. Wonder if there's anything cool in here. Oh shit! The president's personal reserve of laudanum, and judging by the quantity, he can't go without it. Yeah, he takes a lot. Ah, there's also a letter. Oh, what's it gonna say? Dear Mr. President, I am returning my answer as quickly as I can. We already spoke about it before you left, but I note that things have not improved. I urge you to follow my advice and to stop taking laudanum immediately. I'm already looking for a substitute, but I'm afraid you won't wait. Your excessive consummation is in danger of definitive definitively impairing your chances of securing your next mandate. Your addiction is jeopardizing the exercise of your office and duties, my friend. I regret I see no other solution but to stop your daily intake. Yours is sincerely Dr. W. Tompton. wonder who that is, but yeah, damn, it sounds like Washington has uh, quite the problem. Looks like he has quite the problem as well with all those bottles in there. I wonder if that's only just showed up in his room, like, able to, being able to loot it, or if it was in there the first few times I've looked in his rooms, but, uh, his room, but, yeah, I'd, wait, crap, which way was I running? I think I was running this way? Oh, God, I haven't lost my way, have I? If this is Piagi's room... Crap, it is Piagi's room. Okay, I, I ran the wrong way. Oh, well, let's run back this way then. So, the areas we've searched for Godoy... Um, I'm pretty sure I've searched everywhere, but what about here? Oh, we can go in here too. Okay. Yeah, her body's gone now. Maybe there's something new here. I really have no idea. Can't go out there. Yeah, we've still got th those same notes. The books are still there. I can't l uh, inspect the books anymore, though. Uh, but yeah, this whole thing with Laudanum, I'm feeling uh, more and more that Washington is somehow involved with her murder. Uh, at least, maybe he's not the... Uh, murderer, but he's involved somehow, but where the hell is Godoy? If we searched this way? And whose room is this? Walner's. I don't know if I've talked to him. Oh, yeah, Walner's knocking at his door. So, yeah, he's not in here. We're not gonna bother searching there. Oh, wait, I already went in there, and yeah, I read that book. 
Ah, uh, so we have searched that way. Well, so we got to look downstairs now. It's got to be something, right? Maybe he's at the, um... Fireplace. Oh. Oh, full. Golden elixir. A Byzant from the Byzantine Empire. A coin often used during the St. Louis era. May as well uh, pick the, um, coin up. The, uh, not the coin, the, um... Whatever it is, the uh, golden elixir there. May as well use it. Get rid of the dialogue timer. Would he really be strolling around the garden at night? And maybe Washington is back here. There's a, another golden elixir. Okay. Thank. <sighs> Where the hell has he gone? Got the couch there. We can search back out here, but... I... Would he really be back out in the, um, garden at night? Who knows? Alright, I'm gonna search the garden. The, uh, icons on the doors are more white than they usually are. Indicating, like, we haven't been out there before when we actually have, but... Yeah, um, I really want to find out where he is. Maybe we can go back down here actually now that the uh, puzzle's solved I doubt he doubt he'd be down here right yeah the staircase is still open oh really we can't go down there crap oh god now I'm gonna get stuck in this bloody maze gonna run all the way back almost there I think yeah okay here are the doors um, I want to search over here as well, though. Yeah, I doubt there's anything new there. Alright, let's go this way. There's a door over here, right? Yep. Oh, but now I went the wrong way here. Fucking hell. Or is it... Oh, wait, that's blocked off as well. Alright, that's better. Oh, but those are blocked. What, where am I going wrong here? And why is he in his room? Is the game bugged? Or is he at some area? Is he in a specific area? I don't... Oh, a coin there. Cool. I don't think anyone said, like, where he was. And Walner was, like, knocking on his door, like... Oh, wanting to speak to him, you know, indicating, like, he doesn't know where he is. And he wasn't answering his door either. What if we go back to this puzzle over here? Nah. I doubt we'll need to go back there. Alright, so the last places to search is the place out here with the fireplace and the big statue after we get through this library part, of course. So we'll get through here. And then I think all we've got left to search is Mortimer's study itself or like his sort of top level where Mortimer hangs out oh this is the dinner room actually uh but we will oh wait here he is here okay I didn't expect to find him here but sure that piano sounds weird Duke Manuel well well Monsieur de Richet, I was not expecting you. I am not in the mood, sir, I warn you. What do you want from me, sir? Uh, let's display the immunity. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure... Uh, psychology is not an immunity. Where is he here? Here. Oh, we don't actually know any... Alright, I think I may have used psychology on him already, but... I've forgotten, so I'm going to display All right, it's not an immunity. I see you're still feeling under pressure. Since your arrival, I've noticed that you've been on the defensive. Huh? It seems to me that Monsieur Perru has a knack for getting your back up. That is the least you can say. Indeed. I was warned. I knew what to expect. For God's sake, why in the hell did your people execute their king? Have the French gone stark, raving mad? There are nothing but monarchies in power in Europe. They will all come crashing down on you. We shall see. 
it might well turn out to be the opposite. <laughs> you certainly do not lack for audacity, young man. Just tell me one thing, monsieur. Why did you side with Mortimer? He is alone, isolated. The United States can do nothing to help you, and France is surrounded by over ten countries just waiting for the word to pounce. Really, I do not see why you choose Mortimer. Oh, that's a vulnerability, because he's going to beat home because the order supports Mortimer. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I, that's four points, though, so I want to use a Carmelite water here. The Golden Order, my friend. The order is everywhere. We come from France. We are present in the United States, England, and many other countries. We have ambitions and the means to carry them out. You'll see, once all hell breaks out and your English support starts to fade away, the Order is an international organization. It matters little what governments do. Otherwise, why would Mortimer have gone to the trouble of inviting my mother? Hmm, ah. If you are right, Sir Gregory has got it all wrong. Tell me, do you really believe Spain has any interest in ceding Louisiana to France? Um... Spain could get a good price for the territory off the... But he already said that it's free, so that's no. Fight against England together off the top of my head, I don't see. Uh, this is another vulnerability. Um, oh, sure, I'll go this without using jelly or a Carmelite water. It's and, and going to end up costing only three points. So yeah, let's do it. Duke Manuel, for Spain, I don't know. But for you, I'm convinced that Lord Mortimer will thank you generously. Ah, uh, you would not be trying to bribe me, would you? Nothing could be further from my mind. It would be an insult to believe that someone such as yourself might have a practical attitude towards its virtue. Even so, it is only natural that you be supported and encouraged if you were to follow Lord Mortimer, isn't it? Indeed, for services rendered, it would be natural for me to receive compensation for the time spent achieving such an undertaking, yes? Naturally. And, given your status, my Lord Duke, the compensation would have to be considerable. Naturally. Tell me one last thing. What would I gain from all this? Um, to be free from home, consolidate your position at the Court of Spain, Mortimer will be grateful, blackmail, force him to war, push him to breaking pint. I assume that's a typo, and it's supposed to say point. Um, I don't know if this is an immunity or not, so I'm going to use the uh, Devil's Thorn. All right, good. Let's go for this one then. Speak to him about what he won't lose rather. I don't know what that... Speak to him about what he won't lose rather. That's got to be like some sentencing mistake right uh we could blackmail him without using effort points but um because of that note we found but i want to go for this one because it's uh much cleaner i guess than blackmail like i don't want to blackmail someone but uh yeah let's go for this one if you continue with home our two countries will become rivals it could turn into war. Who knows? It is likely even. A war, Duke Manuel. On our own territories. Do you really see yourself committing the Kingdom of Spain to an armed conflict against France? Can you imagine the financial investment required, not to mention the loss of lives and dishonor at the slightest defeat? Do you see yourself being the man responsible for that? No. But you are the one who's pushing me into it, you damned Frenchman! I'm not pushing you into anything, <laughs> Duke Manuel. If you are a man of the future and of progress, as I'm given to believe, you will know how much suffering a war would bring. Come on, you fool, give it up. You're trapped like a rat. Monsieur, I am astounded. I did not think you capable, but you have succeeded. I will be more wary of you the next time. Nonetheless, if you can guarantee Lord Mortimer's support, then yes, you can count on my vote when the time comes. However, I expect you to be discreet with regard to my former partners, without which our agreement will become null and void. Of course, my Lord Duke. You can count on me. 
Lord Mortimer will be delighted to hear the news. <laughs> I hope you know what you are getting into, Louis. I bid you good luck. Good night, my Lord Duke. See you tomorrow. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, so does that... Yes, we're gonna go sleep now. Shit. That's to where we don't want to go. I'm pretty sure this is the way back to our room, but yeah, he's clear... That guy, it... Godoy is clearly just in it for himself there. He only cares about, like, advancing his own interests. And another thing, when he was, like, mentioning war, like, uh, everyone likes to meme about how, like, France surrendered in the World Wars and stuff. But before that, they had a very uh, successful military history. Oh, Walmer's still... Knocking at his door like he's not there mate Well, I'm not gonna tell him he can knock all night uh, But yes back to my room. Yeah, here it is good All right, want to go to bed get my skills Equip more manuscripts for more. Oh, what are you doing here? Good evening, Monsieur Le Francais Duchess you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me you have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? Not at all. Go to bed, Louis. This is not the right time. No, I wouldn't say... It depends what she wants. Like, if she just wants to talk or do something else. That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, you surprised me during the conference. Why is that? Well, you are going to lose. Why stay with Lord Mortimer? I believe he has every chance of winning. My, you are a rash one. However, if ever you want to change sides, please feel free to let me know. But tell me, you didn't come here to try and make me change my mind, did you? That's the last thing on my mind. Although you would have everything to gain by it. I prefer Mortimer. Why would I want to change sides? Shit, is her immunity politics... I know logic is one, but what about... Oh, that's Washington. Oh, all right, I'm going to have to use another bloody devil's thorn here. I can't risk... Okay, well, let's go for it then. Do you perhaps know something that I don't? Come on, Emily. It's time you lay your cards on the table. She knows something about Louisiana. She knows something about Mortimer. Well, she has been talking to Holm, and I assume Holm could potentially know something. Um, what would she know about Louisiana? I, I don't think she would... She said something like the Crown would, like, not support the whole trading Louisiana thing. What could that be about Louisiana? Accepted Sir Gregory Holmes. Yeah, you know you know something about Mortimer because Holmes told you. If you know something I don't about Lord Mortimer, now's the time. I don't want to speak ill of him, but in certain circles, you can't exactly say he has a good reputation. Continue. Well, there have been instances where he has used people, then gotten rid of them once he no longer seemed to need them, Louis. He makes fine promises, makes you feel valuable, tests you. But beware. I'm worried that something might happen to you. Are you advising me to change sides as a precaution? I'd rather say as a safety measure. Louis, if you trust me, you ought to ask yourself why I have chosen home. You do trust me, don't you? I don't know. Oh, that's an immunity. No, but make her believe so. I don't know, is she really on Holmes' side? Like, Holmes seems like a dick. Peru is telling me that Mortimer isn't trustworthy or to, like, float on his words with, like, what he says and stuff. God, I don't know what to do. Oh. Far out. This is hard. I'm going to trust her because of, like, our conversations in that secret room and um, being honest about mother and all that stuff. I'm just going to say yes. 
Of course, Emily. Admit, though, that it does make you think. There's still time, you know. Join us before it's too late. No. Change sides, stay for Mortimer. Uh, why do I have to pick a side? Why can't I stay, like, somewhat neutral? And not be, like, manipulated by Mortimer. I don't feel like I'm being manipulated by Mortimer. I guess I could be, but... Assuming everything that everyone's been going over is true, like, trading Louisiana, I prefer that, and the other guys are like, oh, the natives are savages, and Piagi's like, oh, they have no souls. We need to show them the light. Like, fuck that sort of shit. Like, if that's their way of thinking, then I'm definitely sticking with Mortimer. I'm just going to stick with Mortimer. Unfortunately, my word is my bond. I don't want to leave Lord Mortimer in the lurch. Iron will. Very well, as you wish. It's up to you to decide. Tell me, are these... What did that give for me? Iron will. One point in conviction. Yeah, she was trying to persuade me. Yeah, it's... To Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? speak about Emma um yeah aren't we thinking that she might have been shot speak about Emma I guess well I should imagine you're still shaken I promise to shed light on my mother's circumstances as soon as possible there's not much to shed light on what your mother did is inexcusable she won the trust of my sister in order to more easily betray her she didn't do anything to her. I... Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Yay, romance, I guess. Awkward as fuck. <laughs> okay. Come, Louis. I just want to use my skill points, man. Oh, another vision or nightmare thing. My Here. friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential. He looks like he can be trusted. And uh, Duchess uh, Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing, to keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, what's up? I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now. What? Oh shit. Holm knows. He somehow knows that we are in these visions or something. God, I've s so many thoughts about all this shit. Very, very Emily? interested by the story. Emily, are you there? No. I want to use my Sir, skill points. The conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on. No level up. Okay. 
No skill points for us. Damn it. My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you. I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it, even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Four. Well, you see, uh, <laughs> it is more complicated than it. it uh, Good boy. Calm, Gregory. Don't try to impress my guests. Please. Yeah. They are not your guests. Gregory, anyone under my roof is, by definition, my guest. You included. I would be very grateful if you would let my guests speak. Duke Manuel, you were saying you still had some doubts? Well, you see, the situation has changed since last night. What's going on here, my Lord Duke? You see, I gave it some thought during the night. New arguments have come to light. What do you mean, Duke Manuel? Sir Gregory, I regret to inform you that Spain will not support you in this operation. I vote for. Moreover, in response to arguments brought to my attention, I declare war on France. What? Oh, what shit. If you think France is afraid of you, you are dreaming. Over ten nations rise against you, young man. And you behave like a yapping little dog? When the French armies are at your door, my Lord Duke, you will change your tune. Well, He's gone mental. Me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Four, of course. Well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My Lord Duke this, and Madame Duchesse that. Yeah. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, Emile. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques. My Lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jack. We'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom what? back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. Intervene, 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 Wait. intervene. Do we say? Oh Just God! Can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man. Uh, he doesn't deserve that. I'm going to help him. It's not like him. He's not going. He's about to kill himself. Monsieur, I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things. You blame yourself. I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. Stand together. It's going to be all right. Home can protect him. The order can protect him. Uh, no, definitely going to go for stand together. Jack, you're not alone. There's nothing you can do against him. Of course there is. We've already started. How can you say that, knowing he's already probably gotten rid of your mother, Louis? No, he hasn't. She's still here. She's alive, Jack. But... Yes, trust me. Another vulnerability, yeah. Use this one. Appease him, be firm. Take it from him with agility. No, that won't make him very happy. Uh, go vulnerability. This is not who you are. 
You're better than that. You don't know me. Yes, I do. I know you're no coward, so give me your weapon, please. But I... There's nothing to fear. I'm right here. I don't want him to talk to me. Don't worry. You're safe now, Jack. Monsieur Peru, you could have seriously hurt someone if Monsieur de Richet here hadn't stopped you. Your behavior is unacceptable. You would do better to go and rest in your apartment. Good one, Morma. My friends, we shall continue the conference later. I would like to apologize for the inexcusable behavior of my guest. We all need to recover from all of this excitement. Take the rest of the day off. Oh, Jesus, that was intense. All right, quest uh, finished. I could have allowed myself to be convinced by Hillsborough. I could have followed home. I could have found out Jack Peru's secret. Shit, could I have went into their rooms? Oh, my God. Oh, missed opportunities. God, that's annoying, but let's keep going. Yes, level up. Okay, four points. Get that one. And I think that's linguistics. Um, shit, I need points. Okay, I only need one point now. For either of those. I can't remember which books I have. I don't think I've got a subterfuge book. So I'll level this one up. Hoping I've got a linguistic book. Alright. I want to equip my bloody manuscripts already. That. Just thinking again like. Oh veteran what's that. Veteran arts oh, in here. This. Oh, it, um, effort points. Good. By reaching level 10. I won. It. That makes no sense at I all, don't understand. Man. Um, that's another thing, like, Peru saying, like, how bad Mortimer is as shit. Maybe I should have went for home. Like, I really don't know. Um,. But Jack Peru, like, if he was going to kill himself because of the shit home, uh, not home, that um, Mortimer's put him through, like, I need to be more cautious around Mortimer and dialogue and all that. I spoke to him only recently. Exactly. Monsieur Peru has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again, it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us celebrate Louis's courage. He enabled us to avert a tragedy. Yes, that was very noble of you, Louis. You have given us all a fine lesson in courage. I... thank you. He owes you his life. That's quite something. That madman deserves to die. We are Fuck off. To Peru with care. But rest assured, he is no longer a danger to himself or anyone else. I think everyone needs a little rest. Yeah, probably. Can you stay a moment? Of, of course. Co of course. All right, manuscripts. Uh, linguistics. Do we have any... No, we don't have any bloody linguistic books. Uh, don't... Haven't found these manuscripts. Um, I'm pretty... How are these doing? Diversion. Uh, manipulation. I guess I could put a point in that and agility. Um, diversion. Questioning and psychology is pretty pointless because it's going to take so many points to get into those. Yeah, that's. I'm just going to go for these three here then. Start. And let's have a chat to Mortimer. Say what he wants. Louis, I wanted to thank you personally. I admire what you did to save Monsieur Peru's life. You have given us all a wonderful lesson in courage. Don't mention it, my lord. 
You would have done the same. I was just quicker. Ah, humility is a fine quality, sir. Where is he now? In his room. I've sedated him. I don't want him trying to take his life again. Or, worse yet, attacking one of the guests. When in despair, Monsieur Peru is clearly a dangerous man. Why did you invite him? Why was he terrified of Mortimer? Why did he... What is... Ha his model is like glitching out or something. I don't have any Devil's Thorn. What are his immunities? Uh, he's here. Science. All right. Hopefully he's not immune to psychology because he, I want to know why he's so terrified of Mortimer. Tell me, my lord. Can you think of any reason why he would be so terrified of you? Terrified? Come now, that's a bit harsh. I think he was simply unable to put things into perspective. I see no reason to fear me. Ask President Washington. I don't believe I'm such a difficult friend. Having spoken to him, I can assure you that he feared you even more than death itself. Had he disappointed you in any way recently? Of course, he was on the edge. He was desperate, and it grew noticeable in his work. Our collaboration was probably coming to an end, but I certainly didn't feel the need to threaten him, ever. But without you, no more support, no more money. It was an end to his social status. If you lost, he lost everything, didn't he? No, not his life. Thanks to me, I guess. On that note, my lord, I'll be leaving you. Have we covered everything? Absolutely. Uh, uh, Louis, oh. one more thing, please. I wanted to thank you for your support during the conference. You've made the right choice, and it gives me tremendous satisfaction to have you with me on this project. It's worth it. We shall lose. Um, these are shit options. I uh, wish there was something more neutral, but I'm just going to say it's worth it. What is at stake is worth it, my lord. Now... I won't hide from you the fact that I have no idea by what miracle we could ever get a unanimous vote. Trust me, Louis. We still have a few more cards to play. You'll see. Anything can happen in politics. I'll see you later, my lord. Okay, then. You're gonna go back to your room. Alright, are there, is there anything I can check here? Anything new? No, they're the same notes. No new golden jellies or... Carmelite Waters, Devil's Thorns. I might talk to the servant about getting another Devil's Thorn because those things have been bloody useful. Is that one over here? No, just the end of the pillow. Alright, downstairs it is then. Back to the room. Okay. Where? Which way do we go? I'm just going to go this way. Man, that was... Yes, sir. Your guess is not sufficient. Tell the others for crying out loud. Remember to close my window once you've done my room. This isn't Corsica, you know. I'm freezing. Of course, sir. I'll see to it straight away. Good. Proceed. Yes, sir. Okay, then. Weird. Monsieur Bonaparte. Louis. Once again, bravo for what you did. If it weren't for you, Peru would have blown his brains out. You've got courage. I like this. We just lost a vote for the next conference, and we already had fewer votes than Holm. I must absolutely find a solution. To hell with the conference. The conference comes first. Nah, I'm sick of all this conference stuff. Is that an immunity, though? Where is he, Bonaparte? Conviction and politics. Etiquette. Oh, this is a vulnerability, even. Excuse me, sir, but... Given recent events, I find it somewhat cavalier to return to your political preoccupations so quickly. Yes, yes, I know. You must find me inhumane. But what can I do? We are here to decide upon the fate of our nations, Louis. It is time you realize what is at stake here. I hold nothing against Monsieur Peru personally. But what concerns me most right now is to not lose sight of the objectives of this meeting. In short, we haven't a minute to lose. I'll leave you now. Just a minute. 
speak to him about Emily. What did Emily propose on the night of the conference? What was Emily after on the night of the conference to turn people to her side? Uh, what did Emily propose? What did Duchess Hillsborough propose last night? Oh, nothing worth worrying about. The pretty little pudding eater found no better tactic than to threaten me. She would have been better off sliding into my bed. At least we wouldn't have wasted part of the night talking for nothing. Threatened, shut your hole, you swine. Uh, I assume that's the option you pick if you're emotionally, like, invested with Emily, but I'm not, so I'm gonna go for this. Threatened you, you say? That's what I said. I think I'm going to have to be careful of English troops crisscrossing the Mediterranean for a while. The witch would let loose the wrath of the English crown on my august person. But if she thinks that would scare a Bonaparte, she is mistaken. Now, Louis, time is running short. And as I said, I'm in a hurry. I have to go now. I will see you later. All right, then. No worries. I want to look at the other rooms now. That is... Uh, Jacques Peru's room. I don't think we've been in his room before, Sorry, right? sir, but you cannot go through. Oh. We have very clear instructions from Lord Mortimer. Monsieur Peru must rest. Okay, then. He just randomly shows up as we're about to enter. Cool. What about this room? Let's go in. Uh, okay, which is this one? Is, is this Napoleon's? My dearest son. I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica. Don't... I think I already uh, read that one. Maybe we can discover the secret in his room now? Because we missed a secret in Jacques Peru's room and Napoleon... Oh, that's his bedroom there. So I guess uh, we can't discover anything new in here. And we're not allowed in Jack Baru's room, which sort of sucks, but uh, whatever. I want to search the, the other rooms before going back to uh, mine. Knock at the door. No answer. Insist. Nothing. Insist again. Emily? Emily, are you there? Okay, then. Emily! I yes. Louis, is that you? Yes, let me in. I... I'm sorry, Louis. I don't feel very well. I'll see you later. Are you sure everything's all right? Are you still there? No, she's gone. Can I move yet? I'm stuck here. Uh, hello? Uh, okay, finally! God damn it, I thought I was like, completely stuck there. Well, I guess she is sleeping with someone else for political reasons again. <sighs> anyway. Monsieur de Richer, I have no time. I was about to join Sir Gregory. Come back later. Just one moment. It's about Peru. I wanted to talk to you a moment. And... I am expected. I'm sorry. We shall talk later. Okay, then. God, everyone's just hushing us off. Maybe I'm supposed to go straight back to my room, but I'm not going to. I want to talk to everyone. Yeah, that's our room there. I want to talk to Washington. Uh, who's this? This is... Oh, Piagi's bloody room. I think... I don't think we've ever been in there. I think it's been blocked every time we've walked past. But, yeah, I want to check Walner's room, Washington's room, and maybe even Elizabeth's room, if it's still... Uh, if you can still go in there. Is Washington here? God, he's like, never here. Okay, well, at least we discovered his secret in the bag there. <laughs> uh, keep going. Oh, there's Piagi there. What's he doing? Your eminence. Ah, Louis. Well done, my son. You may well have saved our lives. Who knows what that madman was capable of? It was a reflex reaction. And modest as well. Sarah would be proud of you. <sighs> it's not going to help matters for Mortimer. Now he has one less vote for the conference. 
The bugger hasn't lost sight of his interest. Indeed, a tough blow. He doesn't look to put out, though. What about his immunities? Where's Piagi? It here. Uh, I'm just gonna go for this. Hopefully, it's not a immunity. Ah, I see. His eminence is able to identify a good opportunity in every situation. Now, what do you expect, Louis? The benefit of age. You'll see. You'll learn with time. Except if I find it disgusting. I hope that uh, Monsieur Peru's act will help you reconsider your choice, Louis. Sincerely, see where his support for Lord Mortimer got him. Uh, beware of Godoy. Mock him over Godoy. Say nothing. Uh, I don't think it's... Okay, I'm going to go for this as well. Godoy betrayed you. He has turned his back on you and will follow Mortimer. What? Are you joking? You can always join us, Your Eminence. Don't be the butt of the joke. When all your so-called allies have changed sides without warning, you'll be a laughing stock. I don't know what you're talking about, Louis. Please excuse me, but I am tired. We shall resume our discussion later, perhaps. As you please, Your Eminence. That pissed him off a bit, it seems. But is anyone in here? Probably not. Yep, still nothing here. So now we need to check Washington's room and Walner's room, and then we're going to bed. All right, so where this is... Uh, have I went in a complete circle here? Whose is this room? That's Walner's, okay. Is he in here? And Washington's... Oh. What do you want from me, Duriche? Get on with it. I'm busy. Uh, any news? Speak to him about... Speak... This. As... I was passing by your room. I wondered if you'd made any progress with your search for the Alazif. Hmm. Uh, do you remember our little discussion last time, Derichet? Indeed, I do. So, please go straight to hell and stop wasting my time. Uh, speak to him about the conference. I wanted to speak to you about the conference. Listen, you chose your side. You had every possible reason to make the right choice, but you preferred to commit yourself to Mortimer. Good luck, because <laughs> it's a lost battle. The subject is closed. Anything else? Peru. What a tragedy about Mr. Peru. Are you joking? This guy's a dickhead. That bonehead had it coming to him. What do you mean? That's a personal remark. Yeah, that does sound like a personal remark. Uh, what's his vulnerabilities diversion? Uh, I'm just going to go for psychology. I think I may have used it on him before. You seem to have taken a personal stance. Am I wrong? Ever since I found out that footprints incriminating him were found next to Elizabeth's body. You can be sure that given the opportunity, I would have put a bullet in his mouth myself. Um, go what again. tragedy about Mr. Peru. The other option. Are you joking? I want to do the other option. That bonehead had it coming to him. I want to see if it's, uh, well, is a vulnerability or, um, immunity. How can you say that? Ever since I found out that footprints incriminating him were found next to Elizabeth's body. You can be sure that given the opportunity, I would have put a bullet in his mouth myself. All right, then. Excuse me. This is the wrong room. Uh, no, it wasn't. I intentionally went in there, but, uh... Yeah, now on to Washington. Oh, what's this? Oh, blocked. Okay, there's stairs over there up to Mortimer's study, I believe. But, yes, now on to Washington. I want to talk to him about his, um... Laudanum addiction. Or whatever the go is... With that, that's Peru's room, and we... Have I missed Washington's room? Yeah, that's Napoleon's room. I'm pretty sure I haven't walked past Washington's room. That's Emily's... Is this Washington's room? No, that's Godoy's, and that's blocked. Ah, oh, because he's going to talk to Holm anyway. What about this one? No, this is our room. Okay, well... 
I don't... I guess I've missed Washington's room somewhere. Maybe this... No, that's Piagi's. Where's Washington's then? I thought it was around here. Is this it? This must be it. Yes, okay. Wait, no. How did I forget this? I've al I have already be went in here earlier and I talked about his um, addiction to laudum as a, how, and I was thankful that I was able to discover that secret. I don't know how I forgot that in that uh, span of time. But yeah, I'm going to end... I assume like once we go into our room that it will like trigger a cutscene or something or maybe someone's going to be waiting in here so i'll end this one here because uh, this one's went on long enough and we'll see what happens with all that in the next one but just like the previous conference episode this one's been pretty intense but god the conference is bloody exhausting after a while uh, but yeah, i'll end this one here anyway peace in the middle east and may all your games be good ones